Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, thanks so much for watching. For today's video, I have for you a massive eyeshadow palette collection and declutter. So, um, disclaimer, this entire video is already posted, but it's over four hours long. Um, and I did get some feedback that people love the long videos, but I also got some feedback that people preferred the way I did it last year where I broke it up into multiple videos that were about an hour long a piece. So I figured I could just please my entire audience and do both. Why not, right? Um, what else? I know I have way too many eyeshadow palettes, way more than any one person could ever use, but do please keep in mind that I do this, you know, I buy these for... Um, typically for review, um, for, you know, my hobby or job here on YouTube. Um, and I love eyeshadow palettes. They're my favorite part of makeup. So that is just that. <laughs> eyeshadow palettes are definitely my weakness. Um, and last disclaimer, please don't ask me for my makeup. I don't send makeup to anybody. Um, I have a very large family with lots of nieces and I have sisters, so they get first dibs and then anything that you know i don't give to them i sell on mercari and all the money i make on mercari goes back into my channel to continue to buy eyeshadow palettes and whatever else that i want to buy to review for you guys or that you guys want to see obviously um so i think that covers everything so if that sounds interesting to you then why don't we go ahead and get started Alright, so let's get started with part two of four. Here we go. Alright, this first one is called... Who are you from? I think this is from It's Belle Cosmetics. This is the Flare Collection Remixed. It's an all shimmer palette. These are, I think all of them in here are duochromes. So it's super shifty. So, so. I'm keeping this. It goes great with my... Um, matte palettes which I'll show you in a minute one of my main matte palettes that I use this one is also by um, it's Bell. this is break the rules it's also an all shimmer palette with duochromes gorgeous like I could see myself buying a second one of these because I'm gonna go through this one this is a palette I might actually pan it's gorgeous this is from Poppy Cosmetics. This is the Neon Drip Palette. I've actually never tried this, so I would like to try this on camera. If anyone's interested, let me know in the comments below because this is gorgeous. Not quite for this season, but I guess we're kind of still in summer. Autumn hasn't started yet, so I could still pull off a look, I think. A neon look. There are some really pretty colors in there, really pretty shimmers. So yes, if you're interested, please say so down below and I will do a look. I'm trying to get in the rhythm of filming like every other day so I've got more videos to put out for you guys so yeah we'll see this is from sugar drizzle this is I think it's just called sugar drizzle sugar drizzle polish is the name of the company because I think they started off with nail polish this is another all shimmer palette um, with duochromes amazing quality I wouldn't be surprised if the if this company and it's Bell uses the same lab because they feel exactly the same but the quality does anyways but I mean it's beautiful these shimmers are awesome so there you go um is that in, the, in those okay yeah next I have some BH Cosmetics palettes this is the Passion in Paris this is absolutely gorgeous I don't know if they still have this one or not but I do recommend it if they do it is a beautiful deep you know um, saturated palette beautiful for the fall and the winter so I definitely see myself using that so I will keep that don't know why I'm saving the plastic throw it away okay next up is love in London I don't know why I have the sleeve still I don't need that anymore so this is Love in London, and this is actually brand new, um, and I don't know that they have it anymore, so I think I'm going to go ahead and let this go. 
So I'll put the sleeve back on it because I'm sure whoever buys it or gets it from me will want that. But it's a beautiful cool tone palette. And honestly, normally I would keep it, but I've shown y'all already I've got a lot of cool tone um, neutral palettes. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. Okay, then I have Smitten in Switzerland. Don't know if they still have this one, but I loved this color, or love this color story, not loved, love this color story. And their shimmers are beautiful. So I am gonna hang on to this one. And then I have Blueberry Muffin. And like I said, I don't wear blues a lot, but this one has some really cool colors in here. Um, and I really did like using this and it's got, you know, some neutrals to kind of ground it as well. So I will hang on to this one. I think they still have this one. This is from OPB, OPV Beauty. This is a spotlight eyeshadow palette. Pretty sure I got this in BoxyCharm. Um, it reminds me of the Born to Run palette that Urban Decay brought out years ago. I have not done a look with this, but if you guys are interested, I will. I actually have, because I had gotten two of them, I actually have a brand new one up in my Mercari shop for sale for super cheap. So if you're interested, there you go. But if y'all are interested in seeing this palette, let me know. I'm going to try to make a pile of all the palettes. And I might actually make a separate video of all the palettes I haven't tried yet. Um, where you guys can tell me what you want to see. If you're not interested in the older palettes, that's perfectly fine. I won't make the video. But feedback is definitely appreciated. All right, this one I recently got in BoxyCharm, the premium BoxyCharm. This is the Lorac uh, Pro Palette Artist Edition Meraki. And it is a beautiful neutral palette. You've got some like rosy blush tones and then you've got your, your standard neutral browns too and it's really good quality. I did do a look. If you see my BoxyCharm try on, you'll see it there. Um, that video is out so I'll try to link it if I remember which I can't promise I will because this is like I said I'm going to be here for a while uh, but I am keeping this. I did like it a lot. All right, this is from Sydney Grace. This is the Coffee Talk. I got the deep one. Um, one thing I love about Sydney Grace is a lot of times when they do palettes, they do light and deep. Um, and so there's just a little bit of variation between the two. Like their, you know, their deepest color is gonna be darker in this one than it would be in the light one. They just kind of change it up a little bit. And I liked the deep version better. So I really do like this. It's kind of a nice, real pretty cool tone neutral palette. And Sydney Gray shadows are incredible. They're really, really good. They blend so well. So I really do like this. And I am going to hang on to this. This is also Sydney Grace. This is Summer Days. This one is also in deep. And this is just a nice neutral palette. Very pretty. Got a real pretty bronze down there. So I'm going to hang on to that hanging on to the stupid plastic. I don't want that. All right, next up, I have the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. Um, and this is what she looks like. Why is that open? That's what it looks like right there. I have the light version. I really, really like this palette, so I'm definitely keeping this. Okay. I have the Kaleidos, Kaleidos Flower Punk Palette. Um, this thing comes off completely and then there's a mirror on the other side and then this is the color story. Um, I've never used this. It's really pretty, but if I'm being honest with myself, I've swatched it. I've never used it. If I'm being honest with myself, I probably won't use it. So I'm going to go ahead and let that go. Okay. This is the only Charlotte Tilbury palette that I have. This is the Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. And it is a nice palette. Um, I've never used it before though. So if you guys want a review on this and what I think about Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows compared to all the others I have in my collection, let me know and I will do a video on it. Next up is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. Absolutely beautiful, but being honest, I uh, never reach for it. Never reach for it. Oh, and it still smells so good, but I never reach for it. 
I know part of me wants to keep it as part of, you know, to go back and compare and this and that, but I'm, like I said, I'm trying to really scale down my collection, so I'm going to let that one go. All right, next up I have the Natasha Nona Retro Palette. Here is the inside, a little dusty, but very beautiful. Love all those mauve tones in there. Mauve pinks, beautiful. So definitely hanging on to that one. This is her midi, not mini, but midi size. These are, I believe, 65 as compared to her full size palettes, which are this size. And these are 129, I believe. One, yeah, 129, I believe. So I really wish that she would continue to just come out in this format. We don't need the big ones anymore, in my opinion, because I'm never going to finish one up. All right, this is the Safari palette. It's an all matte palette. And I really like it, but if I'm being honest, I never reach for it. Her mattes are incredible, but I have other mattes that I reach for over this, and I never really do all matte looks. I'm a shimmer girl. You know, I'm 45 years old, and people say you shouldn't wear shimmer on your eyes after you're 40 or 35 or whatever people say. I don't buy into those rules. I make my own rules and I like shimmer all over my eyes. So uh, I never do that look. So anyway, needless to say, I'm letting that one go. All right, next up is the Love Palette. Not my favorite palette. Quality could have been a little bit better, but I do love the shades in here. I love the tones in here. Perfect Valentine's Day present. Uh, not present, perfect Valentine's Day palette. So I'm hanging on to it. Then I have the her like main neutral palette. This is the Bebo palette. Um, I do like this. I do. It's a little bit more warm than I tend to reach for though. So honestly, I don't reach for it. It's beautiful. Exceptional quality, but I'm going to let it go. Wow, I can't believe I'm letting Natasha know the palettes go. That's cray cray. All right, next up I have the, come on, get out of here. The um, Circo Loco palette. This is her full size palette. This is one I wish she had done in a midi because we don't need these colorful shadows and such big pans. I'm never gonna go through them all. But with that being said, this is a stunning palette. I love the color story. I had so much fun with this palette. I did do a video on this. And I absolutely love it. I would do more looks with it again if you guys wanted to see it again. So I am definitely keeping this. It's not going anywhere. Next up I have the Trio Chrome. This was her attempt to do um, multi-chromes down this middle row and then the rest are all mattes but the middle row are all multi-chromes. I have not used this yet. Um, I have seen incredible reviews on it. They said the multi-chromes are okay, not as good as indie brands, but the mattes are incredible and they have some really unique matte colors in here. And I agree, so I'm not letting this go and I will do a video on this if you guys would like to see it. Okay, next up is, I believe, Discontinued, which is sad. This is the Metropolis palette. And I absolutely love this palette. It's not going anywhere. I mean, this is a nice everyday palette, even though I don't use warm tones as much. This is a nice, beautiful everyday palette. You've got your bronzes, your greens, your warm tones. You've got a few cool tones in there. I love it. So it's definitely not going anywhere. Okay. Next up, I have the Zendo palette. I have never used this palette. It's okay. It's just not my favorite color story. I just bought into the hype and was just like, no, I'm not gonna use it. I just don't see myself using it that much. So it's got beautiful, beautiful shades in there, but I just, I know me and I don't think I'll reach for it. I haven't reached for it yet, don't think I will. So I'm gonna let that one go. Then I have the bronze palette. This one I do love. Um, so, Definitely hanging on to this, even though I don't wear warm tones all the time or bronzes all the time. This is beautiful, especially in the summer, especially if you have a tan. Ooh, stunning, stunning palette. Okay, and then I have the Sunrise palette. And I love this palette. This is gorgeous for sunrise and sunset looks. 
I love it. So definitely keeping it. Okay. Then I have the gold palette. Absolutely love this palette. I think it might be discontinued, which is such a shame because I think this is one of her best palettes ever. And it's not going anywhere. It will be in my collection forever. Definitely hanging on to it. Now this one, this one, this is the Leela palette. And as much as I love purples, I never reach for this one. And it's beautiful. The quality is incredible. I've given myself a chance through, I think, two declutters, and I still barely reach for it. So I'm going to let it go, which is crazy. I can't believe I'm letting it go, but I'm going to let it go. Okay, and then I have my last two to not Natasha Denona palettes. I have the um, 28 pan palettes. I have the uh, watch out if you're interested in these. These are super expensive. But at Christmas, at least the last two years, she's put it buy one get one free. So if you buy one of the 28 pan palettes, you get the other one free. And they're like 200 and something dollars. So it's a really, really good deal if you're really interested. This one is the green brown palette. So this one is stunning. I mean, I have not all the grounds and green, ground, let's try that again. I have not all the browns and greens I could ever need, but there sure are a lot in here, and I really do like this. And <clears throat> these pans are magnetic, so I could always move this around and shift them in different palettes if I wanted to, but kind of a purist and like to leave everything where it comes. So definitely hanging on to this one. I haven't even used this one, so if you guys want to see a video on this one with multiple looks, let me know. I would be more than happy to. I bought this, I think, on Black Friday and haven't used it yet. Um, same thing with the other one. This is the uh, Purple Blue. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. And like I said, I haven't used this one yet, so I would be more than happy to do a multiple look video on this one too if you guys are interested. I know it's an older palette, but, you know, if it's something you've been interested in, and this came out a long, long time ago, there probably aren't a lot of current videos on it, I would be more than happy to do some looks for you guys, so let me know. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay, next up, this is the Melt Impulse palette. I don't think they have this anymore. It's kind of a weird layout. But it's got some really cool colors in here. I am ashamed to say that I have never used this palette though. This is what it looks like. Kind of a all over the place color story, but I mean like you've got these real pretty like purples down here. You've got your grungy tones down here. I don't know. It's, it's, oh, I didn't know there was still plastic on that one. Sorry. Take that off. That way you can see it without all the reflect. But anyways, I've never used it. I don't think it's available anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and let this one go just because I know myself and I probably won't use it. <clears throat> and I have a confession to make. I have several melt palettes. I've never used them, not once. So I've never tried a melt palette even though I have them in my collection. So again, that's something if you guys would like to see. Um, a video on the ones that I'm keeping let me know this one she's in parties I'm definitely keeping this one it got amazing reviews and it's a beautiful mauve palette I can take it nice and deep down here with these shades so definitely keeping that one and I'd be happy to make a video on it if y'all want next one is the rust palette it's like a warm neutral palette gorgeous absolutely gorgeous same haven't used it so if you guys want to see a video let me know i would be more than happy to give you guys my opinion on the quality uh, millennium pinks i don't know if they still have this one or not this one got kind of mixed reviews but i really like the color story even though i don't wear pinks a lot um i like that you've got these cool tones down here and you can deepen it up with those and i really like it so I'm going to give it a try. Um, so yet again, if it's actually, no, I'm going to see if it's still available. Hold on. Yeah, they still have it. It's on sale actually for $37. So 
I will uh, do a video on that if you guys want to see it. I'll give y'all my review. Okay, and then last in Melt, I've got the Mary Jane palette, and I love this one. This one's so grungy and cool tone, and I definitely plan to wear this this fall winter. So yet again, if you guys want to see um, a video review on this, let me know. Next up, this is from C Color Cosmetics. They are a brand who used to make palettes for companies. Like they had their own lab and stuff. And then they started making their own, own eyeshadow palettes. Some of their own palettes are inspired by palettes, like inspired by uh, Jeffree Star or uh, Norvina or ABH or other things, but they do have their own palettes too. So this is one of their own palettes. It's called Diamond and it's an all shimmer palette. It's really pretty. Um, like I'll show you a few. And it's really reasonably priced. That's the great thing about C Color Cosmetics. They even have the original Huda Obsession palettes, um, which Huda doesn't have anymore. So see, there you go. They're nice and shimmery. So I am gonna hang on to this because I do like all shimmer palettes with my matte palettes. Um, I do like to try to grab for more than one palette at a time and kind of mix and match so I need a new towel so I'm gonna hang on to that one and I do recommend that one if you're looking for a very um, reasonably priced all shimmer palette it's a good one lots of you know lots of colors to choose from so I do like this one I do like their brand too all right uh, let's see I've got some from pinky rose and I've never tried these I think I might have swatched them, but I've never tried them. And I wouldn't mind doing a video with these. These have been out a while, but I really think they have fun color stories. This is Bright Lights. And it does have some pressed glitters, but I don't know. I might use them, but probably not. I want to swatch this cupcake. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's see how it swatches on my hand. Oh wow, not bad. Wow. Okay, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Can you see the? Yeah, you can kind of see the colors in there as I turn my hand more to the side. Anyways, I don't think all the sparkle reflex are coming across as well as I can see them in person. But I mean, there's like silver and pink and blue and green that's fine so anyways i am going to keep that i'm keeping this one's the exotic peacock i absolutely love this one haven't used it either um haven't even swatched it but i definitely am keeping this i love these jewel tones so again if you want to see a video let me know oh and i forgot to mention if my finger looks a little black it is because I smashed it with a rubber hat, uh, rubber mallet putting a shelf together. I'm a klutz, what can I say? So anyways, it's healing, it's doing better. I broke my nail, but I can't go get it fixed until it stops hurting and then I'll go get it fixed. Okay, this is the Too Faced Cinnamon, let's try that again. This is the Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl Palette. This was their holiday palette from last year. And I haven't touched it, have I? No, I haven't touched it. And it does smell like cinnamon. It's very pretty. I am going to hang on to it for um, comparison purposes because they come out with a holiday palette every year. Um, this year they are coming out with pumpkin, pumpkin pie or pumpkin, what's it called? Pumpkin spice second slice is what it's called. Um, so... I do plan on possibly picking that up. If y'all are interested, let me know and I'll compare it to the pumpkin palette, pumpkin spice palette. This is the pumpkin spice palette from two Christmases ago, I think. So if you guys would like me to, and it still smells so good. If you guys would like me to pick up the new one to compare to this one, let me know. I'd be more than happy to do that. Um, Cause I am very curious and I do like the quality in this type of packaging. Um, I lean more towards indie brands, don't get me wrong. I love real intense shimmers and stuff like that. Too Faced doesn't necessarily do that, but 
I will wear more subdued shimmers too. And I do like the Too Faced quality in this packaging. All right, let's see. Uh, next up I have the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. It's very pretty, but I never, ever, ever reach for this. And I think I kept the mini Sweet Peach. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. And it does, oh, it still smells so good. But I'm gonna let it go. Okay, I have the Urban Decay Naked Honey palette. I really do like this one. Even though I don't use yellows, these are more like yellowish gold tones and I really like them. So I'm definitely keeping this. This is a good quality palette. Oh, I missed a Too Faced one. I have the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice palette. I didn't get the extra spicy, I just got this one. I didn't like the extra spicy as much. And this one smells a little bit, it's not as strong, but this is what this looks like. So again, I'll hang on to this for comparison purposes. Okay, then I have from Oma Beauty Black Magic Allure palette. That's what this looks like. Reminds me of Subculture. I've swatched this, but I've never used it. And I do want to use it because I do want to know their quality. They come up with some really, really cool um, color stories. So I'm going to hang on to this one. I think they still have this one. So I'm going to hang on to this one and give it a try. Okay. I have one from Lethal Cosmetics. This was a collaboration with somebody named Jolina. I'm not sure who she is. Um, but the palette is beautiful. I have swatched it and the quality is great um but i haven't really used it so i'm gonna go ahead and let it go next up i bought the anastasia beverly hills primrose palette never used it this was from last holiday it's a very pretty palette but i have a lot of these tones and colors um and i don't use face and eyeshadow palettes all that much so I, even though I know I could use the face things on my eyes, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and let this go. Brand new. Okay. Uh, I have the Persona Identity Palette. This is the old packaging. I've had this for a long time. Um, barely used it. It's a good palette. I just, I never reach for it. So I think it needs to go to another home. Okay. And then I have the... ABH Riviera palette. Um, I am going to hang on to this one because this is one of the few bright color palettes that they did and I really do like this. And then I have the ABH Subculture. This is a classic. Um, this one is brand new. I more recently picked it up so and I think it's the newer formula. So I'm definitely keeping this. I can't wait to use that this fall. I'm hoping it is easier to use than their first formulation. I've heard it is, but we'll see. All right, next is Sigma Corderosa. Another, um, admit, I have several Sigma palettes and I've never used any of them. So if you want to see um, reviews on any of these, again, they've been out forever, but if you want to see any reviews from me, let me know. This is Corda Rosa, keeping it. Love the, sh love the tones. I'm running out of room for the ones I'm keeping. This one is the Warm Neutrals. Um, I'm gonna let this one go, because I have enough Warm Neutrals in my collection. Although it's beautiful, I'm gonna let it go. Brand new. Okay, and then I have the Untamed. I like this one a lot. This will be great for the fall. So I'm going to hang on to this one. Again, haven't used it, so if you want to see a video, let me know. The Enchanted, I think this is my favorite one out of all the ones I own. Haven't used it yet. Again, happy to do a video. That's what that looks like. Definitely keeping it. Okay, and then last but not least is Cinderella. Definitely keeping this one if not for anything but nostalgia, but it's a beautiful palette. So I'm definitely keeping this one. And I think they're releasing another one. I can't remember the princess, but I'll be picking that one up as well. But I probably should try the formula before I pick it up. <laughs> I've heard the formula is really, really good. I just have never used it. 
All right, this is the Colored Ring Queen of Hearts. I keep the sleeve because the actual palette is just black. And this is what it looks like. Absolutely gorgeous palette, but I never reach for it. I think it's time for me to let it go to a new home. The quality in this is exceptional. The tones are beautiful. I just never reach for it. That's kind of the downside with having so many palettes. So I'm gonna let that one go. Okay, this is a more recent add to my collection and I did do a video on this. This is the Nomad, oh, uh, I don't know how to say that. Basically Paradise Islands. Um, and this is what it looks like right here. I think I did two or three looks with this. Love this palette, definitely keeping it. I'm about to have to find a place to put my palettes that I'm keeping. Okay, this is the Orient Express from Nomad Cosmetics. It's a really neat looking palette. Um, I've swatched it, I think, but I've never used it. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and let it go. I don't really reach for it, so. I love Nomad Cosmetics. Absolutely love their quality. And I love that all of their palettes are themed around places that they've traveled. So yeah, this was their Nomad Cosmetics Halloween release. This was Haunted Europe. Hopefully you can see the change. Yeah, there you go. You've got that and then you've got the evil Haunted Europe. And I am definitely keeping this palette. This is a gorgeous palette, great for the fall. Nice and grungy, definitely keeping this one. All right, this one is the Berlin Underground. This is one of the first palettes I got from them. Their shimmers aren't all that, they're more like satin in this one. They've definitely improved their shimmers since this palette. Um, but I like how grungy this palette is, but honestly, I haven't reached for it, so I'm gonna let it go. Bean Cutthroat. Okay, this is the Carhenia Magica. And this is what it looks like. Beautiful. Definitely keeping this one. This is more of a spring summertime palette. Hanging on to that one. This one is the National Ameri America's Parks is what it's called. America's Parks. Absolutely stunning. It's not going anywhere. Those shimmers, they were kind of like tie-dye shimmers. Oh, so pretty on the lid. I don't think I did a video with that, but it's really good. This is the Tokyo palette. And this is a bunch of pastels, so definitely keeping it because I don't have a lot of pastels. And this is just super cute. I love it. So hanging on to that. And then I have the, whoa, land, else, and ice, Iceland fire and ice. Again, stunning palette. Although, this one isn't so much my color story, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and let that one go. Okay, and then I have Marrakesh. I love the packaging on this one, but again, I don't really reach for this one all that much, so I'm going to go ahead and let that one go. I used to be a completionist and felt like I had to have everything from the brand, but I am breaking that. Not doing that anymore. All right, this is Kaleidos. This is the um, collaboration between Kaleidos and Angelica Nyquist. This is Club Nebula. I have not used this. Unfortunately, the little um, the little plastic thing dinged one of the shadows, but it, it wasn't touched by me. But anyways, this is what it looks like right here. It is no longer available. And as much as I want to keep it, I think I'm just going to let it go. I haven't used it. And I feel like it's kind of in high demand and somebody else might get more use out of it than I will so I'm gonna let it go this is the Kaleidos escape pod this one I'm definitely keeping lots of purples and pinks in there that's what it looks like so definitely keeping that
Okay. Oh, I'm running out of room. Okay, and then this is the Kaleidos Futurism 6 Lunar Lavender. And that's what that looks like right there. Very pretty. Their shimmers are incredible, so I'm hanging on to this one. Um, then this is Futurism 2 Cyber Bronze. I want to say somebody said this was discontinued, which is a shame because it's a beautiful neutral palette. So there's that right there. Cyber Bronze. Hanging on to that. Okay, and then this is Futurism 7, Sashimi City. And it's a beautiful neutral palette, so I'm hanging on to that. That brown can take me just deep enough to make it work. It's barely there. Okay. And then last but not least in that collection is the Futurism 5 Electro Turquoise. And I've never used this. I do like the teals in here, but I don't like the orange. The orange. I mean, I guess I could use it without the orange. But I don't know. I don't see myself really reaching for this. So I'm going to go ahead and let it go. I'm not sure if this one's still available or not. Um, but either way, I'm going to go ahead and let it go. These palettes. This is my shame. These are palettes I've bought that I haven't touched. Or I may have swatched, but haven't done anything with them. So, again, if you want to see a video on them, I am more than happy to do that. Just let me know, at least on the ones that I'm keeping. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep all of them. All right, this first one's from Adept Cosmetics. This is the Codane palette. So has plastic wrapped around it. I'm going to leave that on there. And this is what it looks like right here. It's very pretty. But I think I'm going to let this one go. I have some other Adept palettes that I am looking forward to trying more. Got another Adept Cosmetics palette here. Let's see which one this is. This is the... Amunet New palette. That's what that looks like. Still has the plastic on the outside. And this is what the inside looks like. I am going to hang on to that one. So if you guys would like to see a video on that one, let me know. And I think this is the last adapt, adapt palette that I have. Right here. Do you believe this is the Heather Austin palette? Yes. This is the Heather Austin palette. I know it's a little late, but... If you guys would like to see a review on this, I've heard it's incredible. I will be more than happy to do a review. The colors are gorgeous, so I'm absolutely keeping this. Nice and shifty. Come on, focus. Focus. There we go. So yeah, definitely keeping that. I don't think that the camera is doing it justice. It is so pretty. Next up, I have the Melt Cosmetics Amor y Mariposas palette. This is what it looks like right here. Beautiful artwork. But the color story is pretty. Like it's got some purples, it's got some greens, but it's also got those reds and oranges. Honestly, I just don't think I'd use it. I don't think I'd get enough use out of it to keep it. So, I am going to let this go at night. Next up is the Lethal Cosmetics Berlin 89 palette. And this is what it looks like. It does have a multi-chrome in there. Let's see if you can see the shift. A little bit. Maybe you can see it in the mirror. Yeah, you can see the green in the mirror. The purple turns green. 
anyways so it does have one multi chrome um yeah I'm gonna let this one go it's been out for a while I'm gonna let it go all right this is the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz I'm telling you some of these have been out for a long time I bought them and then got sick and then other new stuff came out so I bought it instead and yada 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 this is what the rose quartz palette looks like on the outside in case you haven't seen it and this is what it looks like on the inside beautiful palette I am going to hang on to this one okay this is the glam light margarita this is what it looks like on the inside most definitely keeping Glam Lights, one of my favorite brands. I love their creativity and their food themes. Definitely keeping that one. This is the Dirty Martini. I have swatched this one and it's incredible. So definitely keeping that one. You can see just how blinding those shimmers are. Okay, this is the chocolate martini. So this is the more neutral one out of their collection. But I like that there's some different tones in there. It's not just all browns. So definitely keeping that one. And this is the wine. So this is the purple one. So I'm absolutely keeping this one. I have not swatched this one yet. Cannot wait to play with this one. I'd love to do multiple looks if you guys want to see it but again these have been out for a while so you know I understand if you're not interested in watching a video on it this is from a brand called Indie Beat Cosmetics this is Platinum Hits it is an all shimmer palette and it is stunning most of them are dual chrome so I'd be more than happy to do a video on this palette with multiple looks, I'll just pull in um, a matte palette to use it with. This is also from Indie Beat. This is Platinum Hits too. This one is also all shimmer. These up here are like the more iridescent ones. And then, you know, obviously these have color. And they're nice and shifty too. I have swatched these and they swatch beautifully. So again, you can do um, a thing on this. This is from Bella Beauty. I think they used to be called Bella Beauty Blog, but this is the, here let me show you the first one, Angles of Illumination. Then I'll show you Angles of Illumination 2. It's the palette. All Shimmer. So see I have a lot of All Shimmer palettes that I like to use. Um, with my matte palettes, obviously I haven't used this one yet, but man the tones and there's a lot of dual chromes too. So yeah, if you guys are interested in all shimmer palettes and want to see some videos on these, let me know. I'm more than happy to uh, let you guys know what I think about the, the palettes and the brands. This is the Angles of Illumination Volume 2 from Bella Beauty. Bella Beauty. I think it's just Bella Beauty Cosmetics now, but it was Bella Beauty Blog. I'm not sure how their website is. And this is obviously darker tones, all shimmer as well. so oops I just nicked one of those shadows with the stupid plastic sheet that's how it goes all right this is also from Bella Beauty this is the Poison Garden they I think have re-released this without the pressed glitter in here um, they just did an orange shade to kind of match the pressed glitter which the press glitter is right there, but I bought it before they re-released it, so that's fine. I'll just keep this one. Um, so that is what that looks like. I would love to do a video on that too. This is perfect for the fall. Seeing some reviews on it, and it's really, really good quality. This is the Nomad Winter Snow Lodge. And since winter's coming up, it's perfect time how it looks like and the inside is gorgeous 
And even though I don't wear a lot of blues, I like the tones in here, I like the greens. And then they've got this one right here that's like a dual chrome and it actually comes like across more purple so it can actually change some of those blues to purple so it's kind of fun so yeah definitely like this and keeping it i know it's old like i said but if you want to see a video on it let me know i feel like i'm just repeating myself so i'm just going to say this now if there are any palettes that you are interested in feel free to make a list below down in the comments and i will make a list and prioritize the most popular palettes that you guys want to see videos on all right next up this is from odin's eye this is the collaboration that they did with angelica nequist i do believe that this palette's still available it's called the hella palette which hella is the goddess of death and then here it is the actual palette has color on it and this is absolutely stunning and i love odin's eyes so i definitely want to do a video on this and still plan to as long as it's still available last i checked which was i think it was last week um because i saw one of my friends do a video on it and um it was still available so if it is i will be doing a video shortly on this because this one's perfect for the fall and i don't know how much longer they're going to have it so i definitely want to get a video out there on there for you guys this is from a brand called badass beauty so i do believe she used to be in the military it's woman owned brand i think it's a black owned brand too so anyways this one is called field op and this is what it looks like it's a nice grungy palette perfect for fall so the shimmers aren't as papel on this are more satin but that's okay i definitely want to give them a try and I've got another one. I just love the theming from, I might have two, I don't remember. Anyways, this one's called MRE, you know, like Meals Ready to Eat, but it stands for Magnificent Radiant Elite. And this is a rainbow palette, if I remember correctly. Yes, it's a beautiful rainbow palette. So definitely want to play with this one. Do some multiple looks with this one. I think that would be a lot of fun let you guys know what i think i do not know if this next one is still available now i do know um this brand puts out different palettes all the time so any palette from them would be good but if it's not available i'm not going to make a video on it but it's from saints angels and sinners cosmetics and this is the person they collaborated with i'm not going to try to say that name because i'll butcher it but anyways, this is called Follow Your Dreams. And it's beautiful. So if it's still available, I will make a video on it very soon. So I guess keep your eyes out if it's available. And if it's not, then I'm so sorry. But I am going to hang on to this because I love the colors in here. So I'll look into that and try to get that out ASAP if that palette is still available because I'm not sure how much longer it will be if it's not. I mean, if it is, okay. Then this is the Odin's Eye Soul Main 2. They have a Soul Main 1. Soul Main stands for Sun and Moon and it looks just the same on the inside. And then this is what this looks like. It's so pretty. Put a little plastic out of the way for you gorgeous can't wait to play with this one definitely making a video on this one multiple looks keep an eye out because i love odin's eye um these two from Lorac. i'm not making a video on them they've been out forever this is the Lorac noir it's a beautiful um neutral palette but I haven't touched it. And I've got the Meraki palette, which has a lot of these tones. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this one go. And then I have the Soleil. Same thing, haven't touched it. This is a little bit more warm tone. But again, since I have the Meraki palette, I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. I love Lorac shadows though, so. This is Lethal Cosmetics. Um, I do not remember the name but it was their multi chromes so these are all multi chromes 
um, and I, it was quite expensive. I do believe that the collection's still available if you guys want to see a video on it. Um, but I will tell you, the multi-crumbs were pretty expensive, so, but I'm definitely hanging on to this. Okay, this is LA Girl Festy Bestie. And I love their little um, palettes that they come out with. Let me see if I can do it without taking off the plastic. Yeah, y'all can see the shades, okay. So, very pretty. I think I'm just gonna let this go. I've got a lot of these tones. I'm gonna let it go. Okay, I got this in BoxyCharm. Never used it. This is from the brand Eloise, and it's called The Queen. Um, and it's really pretty. I am curious about the brand. I don't know if they have anything else. I kind of want to look into them because um, I like the colors. I want to give it a chance. So, don't know that I'll make a video on it. I may just try it out unless somebody wants to see a video then by all means I'll make one okay this is from pink crush cosmetics this is called lucid dreams and it's a beautiful jewel tone palette absolutely stunning um, definitely will make a video on this this is perfect for the fall summer well summer fall anytime I think this this is a really good color story so hanging on to that I do not know if this is still available if it is I'll make um, a video on it because it's a Halloween palette from last year this is from gimme glow cosmetics and it's stunning I love the packaging, number one. And then, I mean, I think I've swatched this. Maybe? Yeah, I've swatched it. I mean, look at those tones. It's a lot like that one I just showed you, Lucid Dreams. But this is Gimme Glow, so I definitely would love to make a video on this. So I hope it's still available, because if it is, I'll be doing that soon. Since the Halloween palette releases will be coming out, since we're in September. And they already have Christmas stuff coming out. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I've got my ABH Norvina Volume 5. This is the purple one, I believe. Yes. Sorry, that was my son slamming the garage door. Anyways, that is what it looks like. Absolutely stunning. Do not look at the mirror. It is messy in my room. Absolutely stunning. Definitely keeping this. I don't know if y'all want to see a video. If you do, I will. I'm going to quit saying that now. Anyways, I'm keeping this. And I do plan on using this. It is stunning. And I do like the quality of Norvina shadows. Okay. I've got another one from Pink Crush Cosmetics. This was in collaboration with Krista Rice Makeup. It's called Metamorphosis. Palette looks the same as the sleeve. And more jewel tones. Absolutely stunning. A lot of purples. So, yeah, um, I am keeping this and probably will make a video on it because I'm pretty sure it's still available. And I love making videos on indie brands. I just don't think they get enough attention. Indie brands are where it's at right now for me. Okay, this is from Beauty Bay. This is the Earthy palette. This is the big one that they came out with, with the browns and the, the greens. It's huge, but oh my goodness, is it stunning. Look at that. So pretty if you haven't already seen it. Beauty Bay shadows are awesome. So I'm definitely going to keep this. Might make a video on it just because it's still available. Why not? And it's coming up on fall, so I might make a, you know, multiple look video trying to make as many videos as I can really really want to get them cranked out now you guys because I've been on hiatus for so long and it's driving me crazy I miss filming terribly I really do like filming helps with my anxiety I figured out it makes me happier um, and of course chatting with you guys always makes me happy so yeah I uh, I have greatly missed filming and I think that my mental health has suffered for it so I'm back okay this is the midnight palette from Beauty Bay and there's the palette and the 
Look at all those purples and blues. Probably don't use the blues as much, but that's okay. I will definitely use the purples. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. All right, this is the Bright Matte Palette. So I thought, hey, this is perfect to have with all my shimmer palettes that I've been showing you guys. They also have a bright palette that has the exact same shades. It's just some of them are shimmers, um, whereas these are all mattes. So this is what the palette looks like. And there you go. Like, that's perfect. That's like all the shades I need to be able to make a look with and then just pop on a shimmer on the lid. Um, I've got this, and I've also got another one that I'll show you all later that I haven't tried this one yet. I'm looking forward to it, and I normally like Beauty Bay Matte, so I'm excited about this. But I have another one that is exceptional quality that I will highly recommend to y'all when I get to it. Next up is Love Notes. This was like their Valentine's Day release. I think it's still available. Um, and if so, I do want to do a video on it. It got mixed reviews, and I want to make my own review. That's what the palette looks like. Super pretty. And I just love the tones in here. Even though it has a couple reds, that's okay. <laughs> the rest of it's perfect. So, yeah. If it's still available, I think I will make a video. Okay, this is the Made by Mitchell Do You Want Some Milk? Never tried it. A shame to say I never tried it. Um, it's got some really cool colors in here. Um, especially these grungy colors up top really cool um, and I've heard the quality is great but you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and let this go I don't see myself reaching for it so somebody else can have it I don't think I have the box anymore I think I threw the box away this is the GBS place culture palette I definitely plan to do a video on this um, multiple looks because there's so many gorgeous colors I think it has two press glitters but otherwise gorgeous colors I think it has some dual chromes and stuff in here too so I'm looking forward to playing with that I love Juvia's Play Shadows have a lot of their palettes okay this is the not the latest release that Nomad just did but this is the one before it this is the Province France I think um anyways fits fits De Provence. I don't know. I don't speak French. But anyways, this is the palette. And these are the tones right here. The colors. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So I am going to make a video on this. It's still available. Probably make a video on the newer one first because I just got that one which it's coming up okay next i'll show you the other nomad palette this one just released this is the monte verdes costa rica palette and here's what the palette looks like stunning artwork on here and the inside of the palette matches the artwork it's gorgeous look at all those bright colors right down my alley I am definitely doing a video probably on this one first out of everything because I'm super excited and it just came out and I just got it as you can tell I like Nomad a lot and they they give back too so that's another thing I like this is the Michaela pot 2 palette Definitely need to do a multiple look video with this too. I absolutely love Glam Light. Look at that. Just got all that gold in there. Let's see, it turns to the side. Okay, and it is stunning. Look at those purples and greens and blues and golds. Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. If you want more of a neutral palette, I recommend her first palette. This one's definitely more colorful and beautiful. This is my very first purchase from Cledona. Is that how you say it? Cledona? Yeah. This is the Dragon Fruit palette. So, oh, I'm super excited. It's all shimmer. 
Um, some are more satin, some are like super intense, some are multi-chrome. So the palette looks like this was in collaboration with Emily Violet Marie. It still has plastic on here. I'm not going to take that off yet. And then this, in case you haven't seen it, is what the palette looks like. There are some multi-chromes in here. Absolutely beautiful. Ooh, I can't wait to play with this, so if y'all want to see that, keep, keep your eyes out. Because I'm pretty sure they're still selling this. I don't think it was discontinued or anything. So, assuming it's still available, I will be making a video. Okay, this one's been out for a little while. I don't know if I'll make a video on it or not. This is the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism. I might because it's a beautiful palette and I could do multiple looks with this one too even though it's nude. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Let me know in the comments. Yay or nay on Lunar Beauty. It's stunning. I got this in my BoxyCharm. I got lucky in my premium BoxyCharm so um, I'm definitely going to play with this and I'll probably use the heck out of this because it's a great staple neutral palette. But if y'all would like to see a video, I'll be more than happy to make one. All right, I am going to end the video here. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are having a great day or evening wherever you are in this world. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye!